Shalom brothers and sisters. So <laughs> a lot to unpack with uh, with yesterday. So while the world is reeling from Turkey being hit with all these mega quakes, one after the other after the other, and I mean biblical apocalyptic what's happening in that country and they reckon the death toll could reach 12 15 thousand by the time they're done today still rifling through ruins with snow and icy weather and things as well which is not helping anything while that's happening the grammys are being celebrated and at the grammaries a non-binary artist and a transgender artist perform an act called unholy now, just that sums up the world at the moment for me. Extremely unholy. And it's flames. Everything is red. People are in cages. There's a lot of sexual vibes and content. They even refer to Balenciaga, that whole thing that's into BDSM and sexualizing kids. All of this as a celebration, or shall I say a victory for Satan. It's like a ceremony or a ritual being performed in the open. Even Ben Shapiro refers to it as a satanic ritual, which was, was good to see. And a lot of people have come out and spoken against it and said, what the heck? But this is the norm, unfortunately. Uh, Sam Smith wearing a Satan hat and then big on the stage, sponsored by Pfizer. Now, that's a whole other thing we can unpack as well. But if I unpack it too far, they'll probably take this video down. But isn't that interesting? The whole Grammys event sponsored by Pfizer and they use it to push off this big celebration. is the best way to see it of Satan and Satan worship, teaching our children this. This is where the world's at. And once we're gone, this is going to be the norm. Not every other day, which we're seeing now openly. They used to hide and slaughter animals and do their rituals in the dark and in the bushes now they're on the center stage celebrated by the world on your television streaming through the world this is normal this is good this is how open they are with their darkness at the moment it is sick and it is vile and every time we see something like this we realize that in revelation where it says after every bowl after every judgment after every event they curse god they don't say, please, Lord, forgive us or repent. They curse him. And you think to yourself, how? What mentality would you still be cursing God after you see all this judgment and you know that he's real? They're still going to curse God. And this that we're seeing here at the Grammys, this is proof of that. This is the mentality and the generation that is getting ready to take over for the next seven years. And good luck to them. I'm going to a wedding and apparently the food's really good and I don't have to put up with any of this evil and smut and ugliness anymore. I'm done. Literally that old saying, stop the world, I wanna get off. I'm there and I think all of us are. But we see this, we see the devil out in the light celebrating. In the past it used to be the devil's it's doing his thing and no one even sees him or agrees that he exists. Now we're past that. Now they agree he exists. They see him and they're celebrating him every chance they get. Every building they open. Every place they go. They celebrate and they have ceremonies and they have these rituals in the open. Evil is good and good is evil in the world we live in at the moment. God bless. Don't lose hope. Don't have your hope in nations or countries or nationalism or anything. Have your hope in God and things above because very, very soon we're out of here. Our citizenship is in heaven. And before a war starts, the ambassadors are pulled. We, the ambassadors of Christ, are about to be pulled and then things are going to get rough. Rightfully so. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.